Former Greek finance minister Yanis Varoufakis said that a key example of the EU trying to damage Theresa May's power in Brexit negotiations was at the Salzburg summit. Mr. Varoufakis, who has negotiated with the EU during the debt crisis in 2015, also warned his battle was lost at home and claimed you cannot prepare for when your comrades stab you in the back. Speaking on a Guardian podcast, Mr. Varoufakis said the Salzburg summit was a clear example of the European Union trying to diminish her gradually. He said, she was invited to go in there and to talk to them about checkers and they would rubbish it. They have done it before. Remember that famous dinner in 10 Downing Street? She was very surprised the tweets came out, leaking how silly she was or how inexperienced her team was. This is what the EU does, he added. It is an attempt to diminish her gradually in the eyes of her own public, her own party, and her own cabinet. Mr. Varoufakis also claimed that the real war is not happening in Brussels, but instead, the real battle is always at the home front in your own cabinet in 10 Downing Street in the House of Commons. Speaking about his own negotiations with the European Union, Mr. Varoufakis claimed the battle was lost when you lose support at home. He said, my battle was lost at home, it was not lost in Brussels. In Brussels, I felt completely in control of what I was doing because I knew what they would do and I had a plan, but when your own government doesn't have your back, that is the most distressing feeling and there is nothing you can do to prepare for that when your comrades stab you in the back, he added, or signal to your interlocutors in Brussels, or in Frankfurt and Berlin, oh don't listen to him because we will have a deal with you once we get rid of him, is that anyone who has any doubt that the Tory party has already dismissed Theresa May from their collective mind or individual mind? Brexit News, Jonas Varoufakis warned about the EU's techniques in negotiations, image, GMB Getty, it is an attempt to diminish her gradually in the eyes of her own public, her own party, and her own cabinet, Jonas Varoufakis, but their own problem is that they have not decided amongst themselves on who is going to replace her. Prime Minister Theresa May has struggled to secure a Brexit deal with the European Union with the Irish border remaining a major sticking point in discussions. This week ministers were invited to the cabinet office in Whitehall to view a near-complete draft of the proposed EU withdrawal agreement. The document, which they say in strict secrecy and were not allowed to take copies of, is believed to contain the 95% of the exit deal Mrs May says has been agreed with Brussels. But it is not believed to have included the proposed Irish border solution.